Dama, uh. Dama, uh. Dama, uh. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Mila J, and I want Duffy. So we know your mom is Japanese and your dad is black. What was it like growing up being a mixed girl? Um, well, yeah, my well, my mom's actually half Japanese, so we're like a quarter. Oh, okay. but um, growing up mixed, it was. I actually didn't notice that like we were mixed or like mm -hmm. different, so to speak, until like you know people were bringing it to our, our attention. Because um, growing up, like we celebrated both um, cultures, like mm -hmm. you know we would incorporate Japanese stuff and like I don't know, she was probably just like regular, yeah. like, you know stuff. So um, not until like honestly, I start like probably around like the fifth or sixth grade is when we like notice like oh it's different. Like when people were asking like well what are you, we would go home and ask my mom like why are they asking us what we are? You yeah. Know? Like, <laughs> So it was kind of weird to get used to that, but um, I don't know. Now everybody's so mixed up, it's just like yeah, you know? it's it's like normal. In these yeah, days. it's it's totally normal. Did now. you ever experience any like racism on either side? Did they? You know how some people that are mixed like it's hard for them to relate to either side. Yeah, and feel I like never. I will say I never really experienced racism, but I mean sometimes your curse you'll come across like oh well like you're not allowed to like I don't know just the way I talk people feel like. It throws them off. Yeah, when you're I open supposed my mouth. to be. Like, it don't way. seem like I'm like well I don't really know what that's supposed to mean, but like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I've never really experienced like super like yeah. racist stuff. Okay. Yeah. So we all know that your sister is Janae Aiko. Mm -hmm. Um, who got into music first? You or her? Uh me, well I'm older. So yeah. So music was your, your <laughs> yeah, first. Yeah, my, my father was a music uh, a musician, so um we naturally just kinda mm -hmm. gravitated towards that. Mm -hmm. Um but I started off as a dancer and I was actually in a group with my older sister. Oh nice. Um, yeah, so we kinda like Music's you know, all in the blood. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. So did you and your sisters ever have like any fights, I guess, of y'all all having the same love of music and being all passionate and strong women? Did y'all? Uh, no, we never really fought. Y'all always just, yeah, like good along. It was along. always like love and support. And yeah. Just, you know, grinding. <laughs> I've always wished I had a sister. Really? Like, maybe yeah. you can be my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be your sister. Um, so w when Janae showed up on Drake's album, it seemed like it brought a lot of attention. Did that change anything in y'all's world? Was it very exciting for you and your family? Or what was that time like for y'all? Um, well, yeah, it was definitely a big thing for her. Like, he's a, a well-established artist, so just, you know, that audience alone to, to be able to get um, gain was, it was dope, you know what I'm saying? Like, Drake's a dope artist, so like, who would, yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah. like, work with him, so. Yeah, it was a big moment. We were definitely super proud. Yeah, it was exciting. Um, we know that you and your sister don't have a song together yet. Do you plan on changing that at any time in the future? Um, I'm sure we will, but yeah, you're right. We haven't recorded yet, but I'm sure we'll, like, when it makes sense, we'll when definitely collab. You know, I think right now people just, they want us to have a song just because we're related, but it's like, our sounds are, like we're kind of in different lanes. Yeah. So I definitely think though, when it, when it makes sense, we'll, we'll, we'll I would love that. I think yeah. we would love that. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> So you were in Prince's Diamonds and Pearls video. Do you have any interesting Prince stories for us? Um, I really don't just because I was, I mean, I was a kid. I still remember the video like it was yesterday. I was like probably seven in the video, but um, yeah, it was just an overwhelming experience just because that was who we grew up listening to in the house. Like my father's favorite artist was Prince. So yeah. to book that video was just like, oh my gosh, like this is the man like we actually yeah. listen to. But, um, no, being on set, it was just like surreal, really. Yeah. More than anything, it was just like, okay, we're really, you know, working with Prince, like sitting by him and yeah. talking to him. So, I mean, other than that, just being in his presence, you know what I mean? Like, it's Prince, so. Are you still a big Prince fan? Of course, yeah. yeah. I'll always. Always. Yeah. <laughs> always. Yeah. yeah, he actually just sampled one of my songs off of my mixtape. Nice. Um, so, that was like super crazy. I think I saw out. that on your Instagram. I did. Yeah, I had a song called Blinded. Yes. That came out like in 2012. And yeah, fast forward to now. He has a song called You Know on his album and he sampled that, that song. So That's amazing. So that's a cool Prince story. Yeah, that's a cool Prince story. <laughs> yeah. Came full circle. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you were in a couple of girl groups that ended up disbanding. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that that happened? Um, well, the first one, I mean, it they never disbanded on some like dramatic mm -hmm. type Like, oh my God, um, we don't get along. Yeah, the first one, it was just like, I don't know. We had a single, it didn't really work out. I think we got dropped. I think that's what happened with the first group. Um, the second group, it was just, everyone was, it was four of us, but everyone was like different ages. And mm -hmm. it just wasn't like, everyone was just kind of on different paths in their mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. And so we just all mutually decided like, okay, this is not really going to work. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was no bad blood or anything. Just, it just didn't work out. I actually, I loved being in groups. Um, they just didn't work out and I still wanted to pursue music so I was like, you know, let me stop using the group as a as a crutch so to speak and you know a comfort zone and just try it on my own. Mm -hmm. And so that's what So we know after uh, the couple of the girl groups ended you kinda took a long uh, break. 
from the music industry. Was it because you were trying and things weren't working out or did you just want to try something new in your life or why did you take that long break? Um, yeah, that was part of it just to kind of refocus and regroup and figure out what I wanted to do and just to figure out who I was going to be as a solo artist. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When you're in a group, you kind of can get lost and really mm -hmm. don't really know what your voice is. And so, yeah, I took that time just to kind of reflect and just, you know, get a refresher because I had been in it since I was like, our first deal was like around the group I was in, I was like 10 oh, or 11. Wow. So, you yeah. know, it had been a minute. And then, yeah, in that time, I just, you know, was working regular jobs and went to school. I got my esthetician license. And then when I was ready, I just, that's when I released the mixtape just to, you know, get my feet back in mm -hmm. it. And then, um, yeah, labels start reaching out because of like the number of downloads that it got. Yeah, so it was like 600,000 or yeah, something. So and everybody, yeah, that was kind of cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I downloaded it. <laughs> So your personality and your style in the R&B world is a lot more rougher than most R&B girls out right now. Why do you think that is? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. I don't know. I was raised, a lot of my friends are guys. Like, I was raised around a lot of guys. I mean, I had brothers too, but just still, like, my core friends were, like, guys. So, like, mentally, I am. Sometimes I'm just like, ugh, like, I think so much like a guy. Yeah. I don't know. But I've, cause I've always kind of been that way. Even my mom is like, I don't know where you get this from. Because, like, we're born, you know, same house, same parents, same everything. But I don't know. I was just, I was born this way. <laughs> I was born this way. That could be a song. <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little rough around the edges. I'm a Scorpio. It's okay. A lot of Scorpio oh, women. Oh, you're a Scorpio. Of, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, you've known Trey Songs for about 10 years now. What kept y'all relationship going throughout all these years? Um, what kept it going? I don't know. Trey's just always been cool. Like, I, I knew Trey before, like, he even came out as an artist, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's just so always you, been cool. Yeah, it's been cool. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> so you have a song, a song with Trey Songs on his new album. How did that come about? Um, yeah, Disrespectful. Actually, um, his people reached out to me. Um, he was closing his album out, and they had a duet and it was a, obviously a part for yeah. a girl and they were like you know we feel like you would fit perfect like yeah. you know you're kind of edgy x y and z and so i heard the song and i loved it and yeah we made it happen I love it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. so i was watching e-news and they were assuming that y'all were a couple can you elaborate on that or confirm yeah, or I deny mean, people are saying that I, I feel like i don't know you put a picture up with somebody and everyone like that's how it is but no we're, we're good for Maybe if we take a picture together. Then we can. <laughs> They're like, hey, <laughs> definitely <laughs> me, love. Is this I would love that. I would be like, it's true. It's true. So, uh, you posted an under boob pic on Instagram that went viral. It went pretty crazy. If you don't remember, Which this one? one. I've done more than one. <laughs> this one right here. Um, were you expecting all the reaction and the hype from taking that picture? Like, when you took it, did you, you know how you take a picture and you can't believe it looks like yourself? Like, yeah, you I mean. It, did you know? I didn't. I just was like, I felt like posting that picture. Like, you, know. <laughs> you had to be too. Yeah. <laughs> like every now and then, I'm like, okay. But the thing is, like, every time I own it, like, I won't, you I won't try great. to make it seem like it's about something else. Yeah. Like, I won't put a deep quote with it, or I won't say, oh, I love my new chain. It's like, bro, this is underboob. Pick a boob. This is what it is. Like, yes, I'm feeling myself. But no, no, it's just like I don't take Instagram that serious. But no, I didn't great. put it up to be like, oh, this is gonna get me followers. Or yeah, like that. no, the fans loved it. Yeah, I, I just, loved you it. You know, here and there, I'll do it. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> you don't do it a lot so it was like oh yeah it's like yeah i don't like, you See, don't you. so i was like oh okay this is yeah, nice you know, i wear a lot of baggy clothes so sometimes i just gotta remind people let, you, let, know you know let i gotta know. show them the under <laughs> <laughs> um so last question um a big topic right now in the entertainment news is the divorce with uh amber and wiz what is your take on that man i was surprised I was surprised because they look so like happy. Yeah. But, I mean, it's unfortunate. I mean, relationships are just hard. Period. Though, like, in the spotlight or not, you know what I mean. So, yeah, I feel for them. I never like to hear that people are getting divorced. Yeah. Because you know? I love living. Like, yeah. Love this. And Amber and Liz is one of my yeah, favorites. Yeah. Like they. Yeah. So. So yeah. I, well, I hope when you, you know, get in a relationship. Mm -hmm. She's not in one yet. Mm -hmm. I still have a chance. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it works out. <laughs> thank well, thank you for interviewing with me. No, no I, you know, I can't wait to the listening party and the party tonight. I'll yes. be there. We're so. turn it. Yeah, we're going to turn it. And we know what we do. We just find again. So we know we home. Oh, we trick. Oh, we break up.